Hey y'all, Natalie Pigeon here with Boomtown Peer Coaching and today I'm going to talk to you all about tags. Why tags are important, important and the earlier you start using them um, in your system, the better. And I'll give you guys some ideas of some popular uh, tags that a lot of boomers use. So let's just start off with why would we use tags and why is it important to use tags? Tags allows the ability to group leads um, based on wherever they are in the system and be able to do things such as mass email them, mass text them uh, from and be able to group them and find them easily. Um, another reason why tags are important is because you can uh, maybe set certain follow-ups for different types of leads that don't require you to contact them on a regular basis. So, a lot of times people learn um, better when I actually uh, share or show some visual uh, explanation for why tags are important. So I am going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay, tags. We have tags over here to the right. So for agents, if you're an agent watching this, a lot of times uh the admin on your account has to allow you to create the tag that you would like yourself um i don't really recommend this because others would get a lot of duplicate uh tags and it's better for the admin just to uh create the request in for the tag from the agent so i have this checked off right so as you're seeing here, most of these are company. However, you know, here I have um, just a tag for myself that uh, the company does not see, only I see. If I wanted the company to see this tag and use this tag, I would hit share and share tag and it would change it to um, a company tag. So let's take a look at uh, some popular tags that I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys start using now and get in the habit of using. One, investors. When you think about it in most markets, you have uh, leads coming in who claim to be investors or truly are investors, right? And if you have a team that prospects or looks for listings, you're going to eventually find that investor special, right? And so this is a great marketing opportunity for you to find those investors easily and see if they're interested in purchasing purchasing the house before you even put it on the market, something like that. So investors, credit repair, pretty popular. Um, especially, um, basically every database has leads that need credit repair. And I recommend something like, A, you can either create a credit repair drip, just touching base with them every two months or so. You can also put on your actual calendar um, every two two weeks to reach out or call those uh, leads that are in credit repair to see where they're at in the process. You can also load tags into the Mojo Dialer. So if you have a Mojo Dialer, you could take all your credit repair people, load them into the dialer and easily dial through those leads to touch base with them or send them a bulk message. Another popular tag is um, agent personal database. So when you are, if you have a team or you're an agent, a lot of times uh, your brokerage or your team or you maybe are creating events or um, you want to send a mass message out to all your SOI and all your personal database, letting them know about something like the feds are about to uh, drop rates, something like that. This allows you to easily find them um, in your database and bulk message them again. So we have investors, credit repair, agent personal database. 
Some of my other favorites are renter, right? When you know somebody's a renter or maybe they're gonna, um, they've decided to rent again for another year. Again, it's easy to find those people and touch with, base with them. Or maybe even because they should be in your pipeline and you may not necessarily, especially for the first six months, need to talk to them all that often. You still wanna send them messages like, happy 4th of July, hope you have a safe, um, time with your family this weekend, things like that. So you just stay on top of mind. Another strategy that I implemented a long time ago is people that uh, indicated they've bought a home with somebody else. Uh, we started using tags for um, bought years. And so after you have Boomtown for a while, and a lot of people have had Boomtown for a while, you can actually retarget those people as seller leads in the future and say something like, uh, we are doing everything we can um, to find homes for our active buyers. If you or anyone you know are thinking about selling, uh, please let us know to see if that's a potentially match for one of the buyers, something like that to get people to kind of raise their hand and say, hey, I'm thinking about selling. That's just an example of a message. But organi organizing your database that way allows you to recycle your leads or better yet, when we talk about retargeting, right? And we know that like in this particular database, there's almost 500 people that we know purchased a home when we uh, retarget them on Facebook, we could be retargeting them as sellers because we know that. Um, so that's another great strategy. For those of you that have ISAs, like the whole ISA do not call thing. So if you have a, an ISA that maybe is uh, helping follow up with the leads, that whole ISA do not call uh, tag, you can exclude that from any of their call lists. So it's easy for the agents to use that and exclude um, certain leads with that. So those are just some examples of tags and how you can use it. I hope you found this video helpful. And again, none of this matters unless you implement. So go out there and implement, keep your database as organized as possible because you'll be able to squeeze more money out of it. Again, my name is Natalie Pigeon with Boomtown Peer Coaching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And again, feel free to uh, reach out to me anytime with any of your needs here to serve you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.